The whole purpose of this cheap Jeep challenge is to prove to you guys that you don't have to spend 40, 50, even $60,000 on a brand new off-roader. You can come out here and have fun with your four-cylinder Wrangler. Hey guys, welcome to episode two of our brand new series, TFL's Cheap Jeep Challenge. And behind me is the brand, well, brand new to us, 2002 Jeep Wrangler TJ that we bought on the last episode. And by the way, you can watch us buy it by clicking up here. And behind the camera is Tommy. And as you can tell, we are off-road. That's right, we're at Hungry Valley, just about an hour and a half north of LA. This is a ORV park, and we're gonna get the first taste of dirt to see just how good or bad our new cheap Jeep is. We paid $6,500 for that TJ, and it's a base model, which means we don't have any lockers, but we do have a low range, and we do have a sense of adventure. So coming up on this episode, we're gonna go and explore Hungry Valley and see just what the capabilities of this old Wrangler are and set a baseline for when we actually go and modify it. And keep in mind, everything we're doing with this Jeep is on a budget because, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a lot of fun. Isn't that right, Tommy? Yep, that is totally right. That's coming up next. Underneath the hood of our little TJ here is about two and a half gerbils. I mean, two and a half liters worth of four cylinder power. That's right, this is the smaller engine of the two available in 2002. And honestly, none of that matters right now because we're off-road. We've got a proper low range on our four wheel drive system and we have solid axles in the front and the back. This thing should be really fun off-road. Now, in terms of tires, they're actually wheels off of a Rubicon spec TJ. They're 16 inches, and the tires are 245-70R16 all-terrains. It's a Michelin Defender tire. It's a fairly aggressive all-season tire. Nothing too special, but this is the tire we bought on this Wrangler. This is a tire we're gonna use. Coming along the side here, You'll see inside automatic transmission, which is actually easier for off-roading. Once again, with the lower inch transfer case and us putting up and down these hills, it shouldn't matter too much. But this will, the hard top, because it's pretty cold out here um, outside of Santa Clarita, California, in the 50s or low 60s. Let's go run over camera and see what kind of underbody protection we got, because I don't think we have a lot. Not too much. Hey Tommy, this is a good test of ground clearance. There's a little bit of a rutted out area, and if you drive into the ruts, the question is, will the Jeep scrape or not? Well, it's not too rutted out, but it's pretty sandy, so hopefully we don't get stuck. Nope, no hitting. Are you sure? Yeah. Felt like it plowed a little bit there. It did look like it plowed. Maybe the uh, diff just a little bit. Yeah, I think the pumpkin just a little bit. Yeah, all right, let's try uh, going up the hill. Yeah, let's try a hill. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a hill here. Um, see how the traction and the low range gearing is in this Jeep. So I'm in low range, uh, automatic transmission in the drive. So I'm gonna drive up here, stop right in the middle, and see if we have the low range torque to pull us up this hill. Okay, there we go. That's pretty darn steep. Yeah, it probably doesn't look that steep on camera, but it's pretty steep. So first gear. Oh yeah, look at that. That was really good, actually. Not too bad at all. A little bit of slippage, but then just pulled us right up. So now I'm just gonna slowly back down it. Let's go to the next one over. I'll go on top and you come up at me. It's a little bit steeper, okay? Yeah, we'll do. There's my dad way up on that hill. Not too steep, but it'll be a better test. Now what this Jeep is lacking in horsepower and overall torque, it makes up for in lightweight. And that is extremely underrated in the off-road world nowadays. Here we go. That wasn't bad at all. You wanna try going down, see how the brakes are? Yeah, let's see how the brakes are. All right, uh, we don't wanna flip it. This is steep enough and steep enough to... Maybe over here? Yeah, maybe you go down this one. Oh, this way, just hard right here. 
right? I have no idea where this goes. The articulation here. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. You're good. You all flip, dude. Straight down, then you can come up and over. Come back and up and over, okay? The wheel is up in the air. <laughs> the look on your face, Tommy. You're fine. It won't flip. You're going forward. I'm just making sure. Wheels in the air, dude. <laughs> okay, low. There you go. Range from nice. here. Let's see how the brakes are. I'm gonna try to stop right in the middle of this hill. Oh, something went flying there. Yeah, good though. Look at that. It's geared low it's not enough. Bad at all. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Okay, time to come on back up. Yeah, this is just a, a baseline test to see how this Jeep does. Climbing some pretty fun hills out here. We'll do some articulation as well and we'll find uh, a little bit more interesting places to go up and down. But this is just initially getting a feel for it. Alright, here he comes. He's coming back up. Okay, here we go. Back up the little hill. First gear. Oh yeah, lots of torque and low range. Not even close to needing or any sort of excessive throttle input. Okay, now back down the other side here. Hey Tommy, hold up. You know, I was just on the Ranger program. Yeah? This is harder than any Ranger program. Yeah, the driving, <laughs> yeah, off-road. Anything in the Ranger, you know, straight over there. Yeah. Look, uh -huh. that looks like a really good test of articulation. You see those little hills? Yeah, let me jump in and we'll try that. Huh? Yeah, those little berms. Yeah. It's a really good test of approach and departure angle. Well, let's go up the hardest one here. This yeah. one right, right here. Let me jump out and get you going out the hardest one. Yeah, hold on. let me get a little bit closer. All right. The walk so far. Okay, hold on. Well, that's a pretty steep little hill. That is a pretty steep hill. That's a good test of approach and departure. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Hold on, slow down. Oh, that's pretty good. Departure. Oh, you're hitting. Oh, dude, you made that look easy. Oh, too easy. That was awesome. You know, the greatest thing about buying a cheap Jeep, unlike the recent video we did where we took the three trucks to Moab, and we were worried about them scraping. We don't care. Okay, here we go, down the little approach departure breakover test. Keep coming. Nice, no hitting that way. You might hit on the way back down, but who cares? Yeah, you're definitely gonna hit. Oh, there goes the hit. Yeah, a little bit of scraping there. It's not bad. That's really good. Can we go find some more stuff here? Yeah, let's go find some more obstacles. There's some big hills on the other side. So in the very first video that we put up, you guys give us a lot of great comments, suggestions, criticisms. So we should talk about those, huh? Yeah, let, let's talk about some of those more yeah. in depth here. The biggest thing that everybody said, probably, is that we bought the wrong Jeep. We should have bought the uh, straight six, the four liter. Yeah, with the manual transmission. But yeah. the thing is, is those are A, more expensive. Yeah. Um, and B, we wanted to see what the, the cheapest Jeep would do, the little four-cylinder. Yeah, it's not a cheap Jeep challenge if you've got the big old four-liter. And everybody basically said that this thing is going to have an issue getting up the mountains in Colorado because it doesn't have enough power. But keep in mind, guys, we're not going to put massive tires. I think the biggest we go on this thing is, what would you say, like... A 31 would be max, but I'm thinking more like a 30-inch tire. Exactly. And we're probably going to do just a very slight lift. I'm thinking two inches. Yeah. We, we'll ask our friends at Terraflex, see if they'll help us out. So that was the other you know, comment that people said. This thing doesn't have enough power. We should have got the manual, and we should have got the big engine. But once again, guys, you know, we're trying to find a affordable Jeep. The new Wranglers are... Approaching 60,000 now. Yep. And you know, not everybody has 60k to spend on a Jeep. So for six and a half k, I think you get 90% of the ability without you know 90% of the price. Let's say 70% of the ability for 20% of the price. You still get a Wrangler. Yeah, you still get a Wrangler. But the, the cool thing is, is um the magic recipe here that everyone forgets with these little Wranglers. Yeah. It's all about lightweight. You know, I mean, it's amazing how far you can go with just a small, affordable, light, light, lightweight Wrangler. This looks like a great test of breakover. Hold on, let me go out. 
And the cool thing is, you know, with this little tiny wheelbase, it's not great at going up hills. Yep. But it's really great at breakover. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let me see if we can get breakover here. Okay, hold on. All right, this is a little bit of a breakover test. We're not giving numbers here. It's fine, Tommy, because uh, we want to show and not tell. So this is all about showing, guys. Yeah, look at that. Short little wheelbase, got a little feet. Now the other comment we got, Tommy, is that we paid way too much for for this. We paid six and a half. Yeah. I disagree. I think this is actually a bargain of a Jeep. Try finding a Jeep TJ, right? Which is what this is. Yeah. It goes YJ TJ JK uh -huh. JL. Yeah. Uh, that's not rusted. That's in good running order with 139,000 miles. Yep. You're not going to find one, at least that I know of, that's completely rust free. For six and a half thousand, I think we got a pretty good deal. Yeah, I mean that's that's always the thing, especially with TJs is, is rust. Yep. Um, a lot of them have, suffer with frame rust too, which is another uh, another challenge. Oh, well, yeah. We're, we're locking up. Here. If we're locking up here. Um, but I think for the for the price, I mean, you get a, a heck of a lot of Jeep. Here's a test of the width of this Jeep. <laughs> it's a pretty uh. Kind of, narrow and cut groove that I gotta go down. But I think we'll be okay. I'll put in first gear and let the, let the Jeep do the braking for me. Really old school. Turn the wheel, driver! Driver! Dad, stop! Turn the wheel, driver! I didn't want to take the side out. Oh, you want to try going back up? It's maybe a bad idea, Tommy. It might be a little too steep, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Might be a little too steep. Here we go. All right, up the hill I go. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Momentum? I'm just digging myself in. Yeah, there you go. That's the uh, what the unlock disc will do. A little bit of momentum. You can try it. I'll try it with a little bit of momentum. Okay, a little bit of momentum. Here we go. And I got sand in my ear and came slipping back down. Well, there you have it. Tires, tires, and open disc. That's okay. We were trying to find out what the limit of this Jeep is, right? We were trying to set a baseline. You were bearing the rear bumper pretty good, too. Was I? Yeah. yeah. That's the good thing about the cheap Jeep, though. You don't, you don't, don't care. You're stressed about it. Yeah, right? I'm not stressed about it. I mean, that's why we got this guy, right? Yeah, for sure. Now, in terms of the mods, right, we don't want to go full out no. uh, uh, rock crawler or rock basher auto. You know, we're not going to do axle swap. We're not going to probably even do a differential uh, locker. Uh, maybe a lunchbox in the front would be good, but... I doubt we're going to do that. Yeah, I mean, we want to keep this very affordable. We want to make it something that you guys out there can um, imitate for a super affordable price range. Yeah, you know, my budget for this build is a couple thousand, basically. Yep. Yeah, for a couple thousand dollars, see how we can uh, make this Jeep a little bit more off-road worthy. But at the same time, there's that thing that happens, and the more off-road worthy you make it, the less on-road worthy it becomes. And I know you guys hate off-road worthy, but basically, the better it gets off-road, the crappier it gets on-road. Well, and especially with the four-cylinder, the bigger the tire you put, the more miserable it's gonna be on the highway. Yeah, well, you're not gonna be able to basically go on a road trip because it'll be too slow. All right, Tommy's gonna do a bit of an articulation test here. And yes, all this has been done on TJs before, but not on our TJ. Okay, here we go. Uh, which tire is going to come up? That this one. This one? This one? No, this one's going to go down. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. You're, look at that one. Maxed out. You're maxed out, yeah. Are we hit? <laughs> I think with just a little bit of oomph. Momentum? Just a little bit. The Nathan approach, huh? Well, not quite that much momentum. Okay. So 
I mean, are you happy with our purchase? Yeah, I'm actually super stoked. I mean, think all things considered. Yeah. Um, I'm super impressed with how this Jeep is doing. Um, you know, we haven't really gone through anything crazy out here, but even still, it are, it's articulating well. The ride is pretty good. Um, even on these pretty street-oriented tires, the traction is perfectly okay, I'd say. Can they go on road, Tommy? Can they go on road? Nope. And they cost a lot more than six and a half thousand. Yeah, a lot more. Okay, let's see how this, what is that, 16 year old suspension does on some whoop de doos some little bumps. Oh, like a Cadillac. Oh, nope, nope, that is not like a Cadillac. That is, um, that's a little bit rough. Yep, this is, this is quite the washboard road now. Now put it in two-wheel drive and go through this wash real quick. You see it? Okay, it? yeah. You can go quick through there. Trying our desert running techniques here in our four-cylinder Wrangler. Oh yes, back end swinging around majestically. Ah, oh. yeah, it's not very comfortable, nor is it very fast. You're gonna do a burnout, ready? Yes, that was brilliant. The, the, the high speed desert running is not, not one of its fortes, I think. Yeah, it's funny, we were saying every generation, the Jeep purists always kind of whine about something, right? Yeah, so with the YJ, they whined about the square headlights. Yep. Um, with the TJ, they whined about the coil springs. Yep. With the JK, they whined about the minivan engine. Yep. Um, actually, JL, though, doesn't have many Jeep purists whining at all. It's kind of stuck to the tried and true formula. But even though now we're two, ge no, three generations back from the original, from the current JL, right? Yep. It still feels like it's got that Jeep goodness, right? That baked in Jeep DNA that makes it perfect for this kind of stuff. Yeah. The, Apocalypse, right? This is a vehicle that you'd want. Stair step boulder climb. How cool is that? And I'll get outside. Yeah. You're the better off roader. I think as long as we're smart about it, take it slow. It should be very doable. This is like kind of our first time on the rocks. It'd be good if I put it into four-wheel drive. Yeah, it would help. Ah, four low, there we go. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Oh, yeah. a hard hit.
Keep it going, don't stop. Oh, yes. Well, we did it. I think what people don't understand is just how far back you sit, right, in this Jeep, because back in the day they put a straight six, the four liter, under the hood, and that's just a long power plant. Yeah, you're almost sitting over the rear wheels. Real. If you actually look at it from the side profile, you'll be amazed just how long of a hood this has and how far back you sit. I bet you this thing hasn't been off-roaded very much. I don't think it's been off-roaded at all. I think this might be one of the first times it's been into low range ever. It could be. Okay, a little bit of a water pit here. Let's see how it does. Well, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. Oh boy, articulation with no lockers. Sweet! My favorite. How was that? That was cool. Should we try the frame twister? Frame twister, Tommy. Yeah, it looks a little rutted out, huh? Are you gonna try it? Sure. All right, give, give the frame twister a shot. How hard can the frame twister be here? It doesn't look too bad. Just some logs to begin with. Looks like at one time this was probably much harder than it is today. It's not really doing much to the frame at all, really. Yeah, that was pretty simple. You know, that might be a frame twister for like a CRV. Yeah, not much of a frame twister, twister for, for, a, for, for a Jeep, yeah. All right, this is the uh, double diamond. Tommy, double diamond, dude. Double diamond. double diamond, go for it. Into and water of unknown depth. Now you're supposed to go out and wade into it technically. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm just gonna see how deep it is. It doesn't look too deep. Um, yeah, now it feels pretty deep. Yeah, that was deeper than I was expecting it to be. Okay, we got a turn in the water see what happens here. Oh! oh it's muddy. Oh, it is muddy. Wow! Wrangler's going swimming on us! Need some mud terrains for sure. One more articulation test here through this little ravine. There we have it. 
All right, so did we get a good one? Oh, awesome. I'm really impressed at how it's doing off-road. Fun little Jeep. Yeah, but it doesn't do a great job of clearing the mud. No. No, these tires... Not so good. Not so good, no. They need, uh, they need a little bit more uh, bigger knobbies. You know, this is a road tire. Yeah, sure. this is a road tire. This is where you need a lift. Yeah, so this... It's not, you think our Jeep could do this? Uh, it wouldn't get pat, well. You wanna try? Sure. Just try, you can always pull out there. Yeah. Give it a shot. Hey, we're here, the Jeep Jeep Challenge. This loose box is not gonna deter us. Let's try at least a little bit of it. about slicing a tire. It's like the Rubicon. It's like a mini Rubicon, dude. Should I pull off? Yeah, go on off. It's a little hard. Oh. I need a little bit of a lift for this. I was a little ambitious. You know, dude, normally I'd be like, let's uh, do it, Yeah. but we still have to drive it home. Yes, uh, I think it probably could do it, but... I'm sure it'll do it. Yeah, but, Yeah. It would, but, it would bang up the underside a lot. Yeah, we have to drive it home. For sure. Yeah. So Tommy, I think it's time to head on home. So next time, a thousand mile road trip from Los Angeles all the way to Boulder, Colorado. We'll do an MPG test. We'll see how it goes up Vail Pass. I-70 at the Eisenhower Tunnel. And that's all coming up next. And we'll see if we can actually make it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and, of course, Jeep, Jeep Challenge reviews. See you guys next time. Hey, here comes the uh, heavy-duty Ram. Yeah, check it out, man. Look at him go. Give him the thumbs up. Oh, yeah. I think he's got a few more torques. A couple more torques. Yeah, a few more torques than we do. Justin. All right, Justin, I love your uh, truck, so tell us about it. How much of a lift, how big are the wheels, what do you got on there? Uh, 37 inch tires, yep. they're in suspension, uh, three inch coils up front, the one inch uh, leaf pack in the rear, uh, two and a half inch king shocks in the back, three inch up front, it's got a second gen um, 365 turbo. Wow. Um, and dude, you're like triple, it? triple black. This truck is all black <laughs> and you're all black. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> We'll take you to the so, tunnel, man. All right. The tunnel of death. All right. Go, go for it. Awesome, man. Now you're quadruple black. Yeah. Now you're really quadruple black, dude. I think it's dirty enough now. Yeah, that was awesome, man. That was awesome. Cool. I love the sound of that engine. It just sounds so badass. Oh, yep. Yeah. Me too, man. Well, thanks, dude. Thanks for being on the show. Best part about that? I don't have to clean it up. <laughs> or stand in the uh, dust.